As a kid, I grew up with a Wii, Wii U, and most importantly, my DS. Since it was the easiest to use, most if not all my time at home as a kid was on my DS. Fond memories of Mario Kart, Mario Party, all the greats of 2000s entertainment. That's why as an adult, I still cherish my DS, enough to modify it. Last week, I modded my DS. It didn't take too long, and all of a sudden, that childhood wonder of discovering new games to play was rekindled. Just like I used to, I sunk hours into my DS, only this time I was exploring the wonderful world of homebrew. Games made by fellow DS enthusiasts, at least that's what it was on the surface. Only a few minutes into GitHub, I found a game called, Angry Sonic. It was just Angry Birds, but reskinned to be Sonic, and on DS. It seemed like fun, so I downloaded it. After some setup, it was running. The game itself only took up the top screen, which was Sonic, and two recolors standing in front of a pig's fort. There was no title screen. This game seemed unfinished, like I wasn't supposed to play it in its current state. What do you know, even if I wanted to play the game, I couldn't. There was no way to control Sonic or any of his buddies. After a while of sitting there, waiting for the game to do something, I eventually lost patience and closed it. Somehow after playing this game, I was incredibly tired, which was weird because it was barely even noon yet. I decided that a couple of coffees would get me back to full energy, but I was wrong. I still felt drained. My ears rung, and my vision was blurry, so I decided to have an early rest. That night, I had a nightmare that I was lost somewhere, somewhere completely empty. It was night, I was restricted to only walking. Panic filled my body as I yelled for help, and nobody came. Eventually, I found the edge of the location, and all that was there was a broken gate leading to the vast ocean. As I traveled, I turned around. Behind me, I saw a tall featureless figure. Once we locked eyes, I couldn't move. It stared at me for a little while before it pushed me into the ocean below. On impact, I woke up. I was confused and horrified, was this just a coincidence? Did this game cause this? So many questions, no time to find any answers. The game stopped working after that, and I never had such a dream again.